Hello, hi class! Welcome back to another episode of Math Pinagali Pilipinas. So for today's episode, we're going to solve a word problem involving a rational function. So let's start. One pipe fills a storage pool in 20 hours. A second pipe fills the same pool in 15 hours. When a third pipe is added and all three are used to fill the pool, it takes only six hours. Find how long it takes the third pipe to do the job alone. So analyzing the problem, I have I already an illustration here. There is a pool and we have three pipes, pipe one, two, and three. And then for the given, we have actually three scenarios for the given. So for the first scenario, only the first pipe is used. So it took 20 hours to fill the pool. For the second scenario, uh, only the second pipe is used. So it took 15 hours. And for the third scenario, a third pipe is added. And then uh, it took the three pipes to fill the pool for, uh, for six hours. So now the record is if using the third pipe alone, how long it takes to fill the same pool, okay? So for the solution, we're going, we're going to use the concept of rate, rate, or R. So in this case, yung rate natin is how fast the water passed through the pipe. Pass through the pipe. Okay? So, the rate that in dito is volume over time. Okay. So, since we have, we're going to have R1, R2, R3, which are all unknown, and then T3. T3, which is our record, we need at least four equations. So we have four scenarios here. We're going to get our equations from them. Okay, so we're going to uh, write an equation depending on our scenario. So for our equation one, we have a rate one is equal to a volume, which is constant and the T1, which is known. Okay. So let's uh, rewrite this as V is equal to R1 times T1, since our V is the constant one. Okay. So this will be R1 multiplied by 20, 20 R's. Okay. For the second equation, V is equal to R2 T2 where V, so R2, and then T2 is 15 hours. Okay. natin dito. So for the third equation, we have V is equal to R1, since we have three rates, and then they are going to the same uh, direction, which is towards the pool. Kasi pag nag-store pag nag ka ng water, di ba? Papunta lahat dito. So we can, uh, we can add them. So R1 plus R2 plus R3 multiply by our T total. Okay. So our R1, unknown. R2 unknown, R3 unknown, multiply by our T total, which is known, 6 Rs. Okay, V. And then for our fourth equation, we have V, R3, T3, which is both unknown. So, marami tayo ditong variables. So, all we have to do is to write 
one in terms of the other one. Okay? So, let's continue our uh, solution here. So, using equation 1 and 2, kasi meron tayong R1 and R2. Uh, and they are both equal to V, which is constant. Let's equate them. So, R1, 20, is equal to R2, 50. So, let's uh, take, for example, R, R1 is equal to Lipat natin ito sa unahan. 15 R2 over 20. So, we have 0.75 R2. So, R1 is equal to 0.75 R2. We write uh, R1 in terms of R2. Now, the second one. Yung meron tayong R3. Paano ba natin may isusulat si R3 in terms of R2? R2 na lang kasi ito na yung gagamitin na. Okay? So, R3. So, from equation 4, R3, T3, equate natin siya kay R2. Dito sa equation 2. R2 and then 15 hours. We can write R3 in terms of 15. Isimuna natin tong R san. 15 R2 over T3. Since T3 is our unknown, lalagay lang natin siya dito sa equation 3. Okay? So, uh, substitute. Substituting these values to equation 3, V is equal to 0.75 R2 plus R2 plus 15R2 over T3 multiplied by 6 hours. Let's use equation 2 here in this volume since R2 na yung ginamit natin. Diba? So, R2, 15 hours is equal to 0.75 R2 plus R2 plus 15 R2 over D3 times 6 hours. So this is 15 R2. Kasi muna natin yung unit na hours. And then this is 1.75 R2 plus 15 R2 over T3 multiply 6. So 15 R2, so 6 times 1.75. That's 10.5 R2 plus 15 R2 over T3. Now multiply by natin ng 6. 15 times 6. That's 90. Okay. Ayan. So, ilipat natin ito sa kabila. So, 15R2 minus 10.5R2 equal to 90R2 over T3. So, this will be 4.5 R2 over 90 R2 over T3. And then, cross-multiply natin para mapunta sa kanan si T3. 
So, T3 is equal to 90R2 over 4.5R2. So, makakancel si R2. And then, 90 divided by 4.5. So, 20 hours. So, it would take 20 hours to fill the pool if using the third pipe alone. Okay? So, that's it. I hope you learned from this video. And if you do, please hit that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. If you also have comments and request problems, you may comment them down below. You may also reach us through our Facebook page, Math Pinadali Pilipinas. See you soon!